It's a Wonderful Life started off actually as a Christmas card. Makes you feel the nest, nest queen. Eventually he's into the hands of Frank Capra, a director. Capra made this movie in 1946. That movie landed in the hands of Joe Landry, who adapted It's a Wonderful Life into a live radio play. Good evening, listeners, young and old, old and new. Greetings from WBFR Studio A in Hartford, Connecticut. The play is set in WBFR, a radio soundstage that we have set in Hartford, Connecticut. Oh, it's the 1940s. Radio drama is still very much a thing. I think it's an opportunity to come and like get a behind the scenes look. You know, it's, it's obviously on stage, but it's a kind of like behind the scenes aspect to it. A radio play kind of hits you on two levels, both the audio side and it hits you on the visual side. And you get to kind of get a peek in at what a radio station might have been like that was doing those kinds of things. So you're watching these radio actors, the interplay of them and this, this one layer of story. How they can find the richness within the community that they have and not be focusing on whatever they're missing. I love this acting company and the inventiveness of the play. By adapting the play into a radio play, very playful, and the acting company is spectacular. They're very magnetic and fun and creative, and everyone's going to have a great time at WBFR. Look, I'm getting the signal that we are live on the air in 20 seconds. We thank you all for being here and enjoy the broadcast.